How are you? This is Oliver Fernandez with The Imperfect Entrepreneur. And growing up, my mom used to always say, you hang out with four losers, you'll be the fifth. You hang out with four winners, you'll also be the fifth winner. And I have some really cool insight to share with you as a photo popped up on social media uh, last week from like 11 years ago and it really kind of brought that full circle for me. So we just got the the new uh, stroller, which is like a tandem stroller where, you know, both my son who he likes to sit in the front and my daughter sits in the back uh, can both be in the same stroller instead of like, we only have a one person stroller and then one, I'm carrying one and uh, we, brew, we brought that stroller down to Virginia Beach and it was really cool to, uh, even though the weather was crappy, it was cool to just be able to stroll around with them and get into new things with them and um, be able to bring the school bus, I call it, <laughs> with us. So um, yeah, last week I was on uh, social media and one of my friends had tagged me in a post and I was like, oh, what's, I haven't heard from him in a little while. I think we hung out last Christmas. Uh, we did a dinner together with my in-laws and my wife and my kids. And in that picture was a photo of me and a lot of his friends that I used to kind of hang out with. And it was from like 11 years ago. And I'm like, oh my God, my eyes were like, like really thin. I had like a, a glass of I don't even know what in my hand <laughs> and you know even though that was like the transitioning point of me starting to like really change the things that I was doing and then in the uh and the and the people I was hanging out with in that moment <laughs> you, it was very confusing what was going on um and I'm just like I, I think back on, on those days and I'm like oh my gosh I'm so grateful that I I the only thing that changed really was my mindset. My mindset shifted from, you know, just just doing things to survive, to doing things to like, to prosper, to go after opportunities that were bigger than what I currently had the skill set for. Things that scared me, things that once I did hit the result would actually provide the, you know, the resources to to live the life that I want to live and the life that I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've, I've dreamed of. And then also inspire me to continue to push forward and continue to want to even, you know, help and impact even more people. And, 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 and it all started there. Um, and, you know, seeing that picture also reminded me of the, the transitioning moment where it really just snapped in. Like, I do not want to hang out with these people anymore. And the good people, I love them to death. I, I've, I've spent a lot of time with them. I've actually learned a lot from them, you know. But at the same time, it was just like, oh, I was out at, uh, I was hanging out with them in New York City. They all came over to my apartment and we were, you know, we were eating all my food, drinking all my drinks, all, all that stuff, right? And, you know, things that, you know, friends do for and, 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 and support with each other, right? And we go out downtown and it was the end of the night and it was a, it was a good night. Um, we were all getting pizza and I was like, oh, I got into the line and they realized that they were only just accepting cash for the pizza. And it was like literally a dollar slice. And I asked my, my quote unquote friends like, hey, can I borrow a dollar? Like literally, can I borrow a dollar? To buy a slice of pizza and everybody got quiet and started like acting like they didn't know me. And I literally, I can remember it clear as day. I literally didn't say anything. I, I knew the feeling that I was feeling and I literally just bounced. I literally just hopped in a cab. And, and I, like that was the turning point where I literally said bye-bye to, to all of that, all of everything that was in that picture that popped up uh, 11 years ago. Bye-bye to people that wouldn't let me borrow a dollar. I needed to stop hanging out with people that wouldn't let me borrow a dollar and start hanging out with people that, that will invest alongside me with a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, you know, uh, ten million dollars. Like those are the people I want to hang out with, right? Those are the people that I want to understand the strategies that they're using in their life to get them to where they're at. And it was just that moment that like that that transitioned me into you know, just thinking a little differently. You know, from then I, I just was willing to leave New York City. It didn't matter to me anymore. Like the only thing that was even holding me there or even keeping me somewhat interested in New York City was my wife. I wasn't, I wasn't, definitely wasn't, you know, staying there to hang out with my friends. They wouldn't let me borrow a dollar 
to buy some pizza. You know, that's definitely not what was happening. So, you know, all of that coming full circle, I, I started, I started, that's when I really started digging down into my business. It was like, you know, that, that picture's from 11 years ago, like 10 years ago was like really the moment where I was like, really started to get some traction and start moving some things forward with the, with the business. And I remember, you know, now I wasn't hanging out with, with, with those old friends anymore. I was hanging out with people that were much older than I was. I was hanging out with people that had gotten the results that I wanted to have in my life. I wanted to be a GC. I started hanging out with a GC. I wanted to work directly for the owner. I wanted to be able to touch the money first as the, as the contract. I didn't want to be the subcontract anymore. So I started hanging out with people that were actually doing that in, in, in their life and, and, and being the GC, being the owner's rep, working directly for the owner, touching the money first. And I saw how they acted. I saw how they carried themselves. I saw how they were uh, responding to the marketplace. And it was totally night and day from what my friends were from that picture versus where, you know, where, 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 where this person that now who was the GC or was the person that I was hanging out with now looked like and, and lived his life out. And, and it was a start, it's that contrast kind of, felt uncomfortable in the beginning, right? It was, it felt, you know, maybe there wasn't any fun or whatever, but I'm, I'm so glad that I, I, I committed to that thought process and I committed to, you know, the, the discipline that's required to get those type of results that I wanted. Because now all of a sudden, once I, once I started getting traction with it and once I started build, build, building momentum with it, once we started adding team members to that, I started to to see the power in it all. I started to get some of the results and, and I started to be able to create some of the things that I wanted in my life. Right. And one of those things was, uh, you know, started buying some real estate before I wasn't able to buy that real estate. I wasn't able to make firm commitments to people because I just, there was just so much uncertainty in my life. You know, I didn't have, I didn't have the ability to, to create the way I, I can create now. And those are all, you know, things that I had to take control over. And the thing that helped me take control over all of that stuff was by changing my environment, getting around people that had, had taken control over their environment, getting around people that knew how to get results. And once I saw how they were getting results, and I literally had to shut up, literally. My thought process was not gonna get me the results. I remember, you know, the, the first job we negotiated, right? It was a half a million dollar job. And I was willing to cut my profit. I was willing to, you know, literally try to basically whittle down my price because I didn't have confidence in my price. So my thought pr thinking wasn't going to get me to where I wanted to go. It was it was my mentor's thinking that was, was and he was firm with it. He's like, Oliver, do not touch the numbers. And I was like, okay. Even though I wanted to touch the numbers, he's like, don't touch the numbers. And the thing that I was missing there was that price is what you pay, value is what you get. And I was so fixated that, oh, just lower the price, just lower the price, just lower the price. But like, if okay, even if I lowered the price by 50 grand, what does that do for, for the customer? What does that do for the client? Okay, they just pay $50,000 cheaper. Maybe they can get another thing done in, in, their, in their facility. But what's the trade-off? Now they're gonna have to babysit every step of the way. Now they're gonna have to tie up one of their, their team members that maybe they're paying 50 to 100 grand to to babysit every little step that we're doing. So the, the, the $50,000 savings or the $100,000 savings that they thought where they were gonna get, they actually paid it in another, in another area. Instead, no, like we hold our price, but we do everything that we say we're gonna do. We don't need to be babysat. We get the thing to the finish line. And what did they, they price is what they pay, value is what they get. And we gave them so much value that they were, they were happy to have paid us that money at the end of the day. They were happy to have stroked that check. And, and it was such an eye opening experience, but you know, at the same time, we never would have, I never would have been in that situation if 
I didn't change my circle of people that I was around. If I didn't change my environment, if I didn't change the information that I was receiving in my in my mindset. And I'm so glad I did it because, you know, it was so worth it. You know, now I, I started to really fulfill some of the things that I wanted to do in life. I want I started being able to have the opportunity to buy real estate. I had the, the ability to start bringing on team members. I had the ability to start, you know, investing even more in myself, my my own knowledge, my own, you know, my my own uh, like growth trajectory. And, and all of those things have now led me to where we're at now. And that's what, why I, I'm so like a, such a big proponent to like, to, to growth, to, to understanding that, you know, the transformation doesn't happen in right, but like one thing, like it's not like you just read a book and then all of a sudden the transformation happens. It's not like you just go to an event and all of a sudden the transformation happens. It's not like you just do one thing and all of a sudden the transformation happens. It's these incremental things that are done over time and when you have the people in your environment that get to hold you accountable to that, that's when the change can happen, right? And the people in that picture that was on social media were not holding me accountable to anything great. I mean, they may have to be holding me accountable to who could drink more, right? You know, they might be holding me accountable to who can stay up the latest, you know, like who can, who can do the dumbest things. Like, you know, I want people that are going to hold me accountable to, you know, goals and targets that I have. Like who can have the most units? Like who can have, you know, the most love in their life with their family? Like who can have the most, the most connection with their team members at work who can build the, the the most connected team right like those are the those are the things that i'm interested in now and like to 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 have the have the environment around me to be able to hold me accountable to that it's a different type of person and you got to get around the people that are going to be able to, to to help you get to those, those targets if that's your target right because the people that you, you used to hang out with the people that you know, might not be getting the results that you want in your life. They're not going to help. If they can't get it in their life, there's no way they're going to be help, helping you to get it in your life. So you got to be intentional about your environment. And um, that was some of the, one of the things that like popped up in my head that when I saw that picture on, on Instagram, I was like, man, I'm so glad I changed my environment. I'm so glad I changed my thought process. I'm so glad that I transitioned into thinking and getting around and, and, and working with people that could help me grow, could help me develop into the person that I could be proud of, into the person that would help me become the best version of myself. And I'm not there yet. Like I'm still working on it. I'm still, you know, developing myself. I'm still putting the time, energy, and effort in to be, to be the best version of myself. And I, I hope that for you as well. Now, if you got value from this, I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment, and smash that subscribe button.